This video will briefly and quickly explain the effects of rear wheel toe-in and toe-out on RC drift cars. This applies to RCs of any scale size. Um, when the car is drifting, the inner rear wheel will have more traction than the outer wheel. Therefore, the car's control is most influenced by the inner wheel. Especially on RC cars with a high center of gravity, for example, RCs with a motor mounted on top, the traction difference between the inner and outer wheel becomes even greater. Now, if the rear wheels are set to tow out, the rear rotation will pull in the direction shown in the video, which can cause the car to rotate too easily, slash into oversteer, or spin out. On the other hand, with a tow-in rear setting, the rear wheels steer the car toward the angle shown in the video. As a result, the car becomes less prone to over-rotation. Of course, real toe settings are not as extreme as demonstrated in the video. Common rear toe-in adjustments are usually only 1 to 4 degrees. In short, when the rear wheels are set to toe-in, the car will feel more stable and less likely to over-rotate. Drawbacks of rear toe-in that I personally feel. The bigger the toe-in angle, the slower and less responsive the car becomes. Second, when the toe-in is set too high, the car feels understeer and struggles to maintain drift angle, especially on long slides with high entry angle. This is a video of the WLT Toys 284131RWD RC drift car with too much rear toe-in. Notice how the car doesn't want to slide and quickly tries to return to a straight position instead of holding the drift line during long angle drifts. Now, here's the comparison using zero toe or toe neutral. You can see the rear end has more momentum, feels slicker, and slides more easily. This is with the exact same tires and overall setup.